The entire competition is based around a center rail, so a monorail. It's kind of a new idea. You grip, you grip on a center rail in some fashion, pull yourself along for propulsion, and then teams were given the opportunity to build different types of levitation technologies, ranging from air, magnetic, to wheels. I think that 15 to 20 years, uh, with the kind of force you see here today driving behind it, I think you could see it happening. What this is really intended to do is to encourage uh, innovation in, in transport technology, uh, to get people excited about new forms of transport, um, things that may be completely different from what we, we see today. Congrats to everyone. Um, amazed at, at what uh, the student teams have done. Uh, really has blown my mind. And um, uh, may the best team win. Basically, we're using a series of two skis that uh, have three independent chambers, and we fill those with uh, pressurized air at 125 psi, and we float up. We only take about 20 pounds to push the pod, and the pod itself weighs 2,000 pounds. So that's a very low drag, and that's exactly what the Hyperloop needs. Who came up with a, with a design? that eventually is, is more efficient, more cost effective, and a lot faster than the, than the design that Elon Musk proposed. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.